All right, so Mark, we're gonna head over in here. So tell me what's going on with your eyes. Are you having a hard time seeing far away? This Toronto optometrist says she's seeing an increasing number of patients with eye issues linked to screen use. So back when I first started practicing, I'd say maybe about 10 or 15 percent of my primary care demographic would complain of symptoms of dryness. And now I'd say it's upwards of 50 to 60 percent. Experts say staring too long at computers and smartphones is changing our eyes, and they're seeing it in children as young as four. Because if these children are already starting off with a significant portion of their glands having died or atrophied at a young age, what is going to happen to their functionality? Glands in our eyelids can clog and eventually dry up if we don't blink enough. So whenever we're staring at a screen like you and I are doing right now, our blink rate goes down to about 10% of normal. The eyelids are little windshield wipers that have oil glands in them that basically smooth the oily tears, the moisturizing tears over the eyeball. Staring too long at something too close can also cause myopia or nearsightedness, something the World Health Organization says half the world's population will be by 2050. Experts say there are things you can do to protect your eyes. The biggest intervention is to drastically and significantly cut screen time use. One of the things eye doctors say you can do for your eyes is take a break. Use the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, look at least 20 feet away and blink hard at least 20 times. So we're going to get you a prescription for some glasses. The world's and eye doctors here. say spread the word so screens don't blur our vision. So what do we have to do? Less screen time. Less screen time and more of what? Yvette Brand, CBC right, News, Vancouver.